Hey everyone, Joe here from ThriveCuisine.com and today I've got my Nutribullet Pro 900 and I've got some coffee beans and we're gonna put this thing to the test and see how it does grinding these coffee beans. And also, I'm gonna try and do it in two different um, levels of fineness. So I'm gonna do a coarse grind for a French press and then a really thin grind that you would use in a drip coffee machine. So let's get started. All right, so first step is I'm gonna take the Nutribullet cup take the coffee grinds and I'm gonna fill it um, about halfway, maybe a little more, just cause I wanna give it enough um, room for the blades to spin around and catch all the coffee grinds without them getting stuck on the sides. I'm gonna screw the top on. And I'm gonna try and use the pulse function of the Nutribullet. It doesn't technically have a pulse button, but if you push down, it'll do a quick pulse and you don't have to lock it in. So let me plug this in real quick. And I'm gonna try and do that coarse grind first and then move on to the um, fine. I locked it in accidentally. All right, so it took about three pulses and um, yeah, I got a pretty decent coarse grind that I think I would put this in my French press. Honestly, it doesn't, didn't do too much worse of a job than my coffee grinder. Overall, it's pretty coarse. Bring it closer to you guys can see it. So you guys can see it, I'll also put a picture. And now let's see how fine we can get it. There you go, perfect for drip coffee. That was actually a lot easier than I had expected. I'd never actually put this to the test in my Nutribullet. Hey, I know you did. I didn't give you guys a great look there when I had the camera facing the blender, so I wanted to give a more close-up look at the fineness level of the coffee. Probably get it a little more fine. Eh, if I want. Actually, I don't know, that's, that's pretty close to a powder, but just wanted to give you guys a close-up of what it looks like. All right, everyone, as you can see, it does a really good job. It was super easy. And the blades, I have to say, weren't hard to clean after. I just um, tapped them off into the garbage can and then used my kitchen hose on the sink to spray it clean. So if you guys wanna learn more about the Nutribullet Pro 900 and all Nutribullets, I'm gonna be leaving some links in the description. So be sure to check those out. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what you wanna see me test next in any blender you want.